Hey everybody, this is Christopher from Workato, your friendly neighborhood integration advisor. Uh, today I'm gonna to be doing a short demo uh, showcasing a Slack and Zendesk integration, or workflow I should say. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be showing how an employee can query a Zendesk knowledge base from Slack, and then if they don't find the information that they're looking for, uh, submit a ticket. Once that ticket's submitted, an agent can then comment or respond in Zendesk, and the employee will get a notification uh, with the content of that response back into Slack. So just a quick word about Workbot for Slack before we dive into the demo. Workbot for Slack is Workato's bot building framework for uh, Slack as well as another of, a number of other messaging tools including Microsoft Teams and Facebook uh, for, for work. So what this is going to allow you to do is unlike other Slack integrations which might be able to post notifications or maybe even write back into a system, Workbot for Slack is going to allow you to build very complex uh, workflow in Slack, between Slack and one, or oftentimes multiple applications. Slack itself actually uses Workbot uh, for all of its internal Slack bots. They've got about 250 running, managing everything from uh, PTO approvals to uh, PO approvals and Coupa, Deal Desk, um, things like HR onboarding. Um, you know, really kind of across the board, big data use cases where they're importing product information from S3 into Salesforce Marketing Cloud to, to basically drive marketing campaigns from product usage. So it's a very, very robust, very powerful framework for sort of using Slack as that central enterprise hub for business. So let's jump into the demo here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off this workflow by issuing a command. And uh, workflows can be kicked off either with a command, they can be scheduled, or they can be kicked off by some sort of event in a source system. So in this case, I'm gonna say Zendesk. Search docs. And I wanna learn about PTO because I've got a question about PTO. And so what we're gonna do is we can take this query. In the back end, we're searching all of the knowledge base in Zendesk. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna surface three requests or three responses here. So I've got three different articles. And just kind of a note about this, what you'll notice is that we're actually creating some buttons here, we're creating a thread, and we have the ability to essentially leverage all of Slack's native functionality when we're building these workflows. So we can create buttons, drop down menus, dialog boxes, we can use slash commands, we can create channels, uh, we can invite people in the channels, we can archive channels, I'll show you all of this. And uh, we can even use block kit for Slack, which is gonna allow us to really customize the interface. This is kind of a new release, so I'll include a, a link alongside this one if you're kind of curious about how to use Blockit for Slack when you're building workbots. So, you know, I, I, I don't think any of these articles are gonna answer my question. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna create a ticket. And what you can see here is a dialog box pops up. Pops up. We've got some freeform text fields as well as a drop down menu. This is urgent. I'm just gonna say, I need help with PTO. I don't know how to submit PTO and the customer is Christopher. So uh, one thing I want to kind of note here is that everything that you're seeing is fully customizable. So none of this is hard coded or hard baked. Uh, if you have slightly different information you want to collect when you're creating tickets, um, you have a slightly different flow, you can kind of tweak this or build it to your exact specifications. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna submit this. And what this is doing is it's taking the information and it's going and it's creating a ticket in Zendesk. And what we can do is we can actually go take a look at this ticket and I will drag it into here. You take a look at this ticket. And while it loads, what we actually have the option to do in this particular workflow is if it's a really high priority issue and you know, we, we can't wait to get a response, we can actually escalate this. And so I'm gonna click this button that we've offered. And what this is gonna do is, I need help with PTO, it's gonna query me for some information. You can see this is a little bit different way of collecting information than the dialog box, which we saw earlier. And it's gonna actually create a Zendesk channel, invite an on-service agent, in this case, it's John, John Snow, and we're gonna be able to go ahead and sort of discuss this issue and collaborate here in the Slack channel that we've created. When we're done, we can resolve it and archive the channel. So kind of going back to, Zen, to Zendesk, we can see that this is the ticket that I just created, and it's pretty smart. And so what's kind of happening in the background here is 
work, Workbot by Workado knows who I am, right? It knows who the Slack user is. It's got all the information in Slack about that user. And so when it comes to submit a ticket, what it's doing is it's finding that user in Zendesk. And if it doesn't find that user, it's actually going to go ahead and create one. So there's a little bit of user deduplication logic that's happening behind the scenes. Um, and so now I'm this agent. You know, I've seen that Christopher here has submitted this issue. He needs help with PTO. He doesn't know how to submit P P PTO. And I'm going to tell him, go take a look at the KBs. And we will submit this as, you know, we'll submit it as pending. And then what you can see here is that the user gets a notification with the latest ticket comment, and go take a look at the KBs. And you know, we've got a lot of information here about the ticket. We obviously don't have to include it all. You can kind of decide what or what you don't want to want to send back to the user. So that's the, the kind of quick workflow uh, and integration demo. What I'll quickly do is I'll quickly just show you a piece of how this is being configured behind the scenes. So this is all the whole workflow that you saw, uh, all of the building, the UI and Slack, it's all dictated by what we call a Ricardo recipe which is uh, kind of our framework for building integrations, automations, and workflows. And so what we can see here is this is actually the very last part of the workflow where we update the user uh, on any new comments that have appeared on a ticket that's associated with them where they were the ones who submitted it. And so in this case, we can see that every time a new or updated ticket where the status is either pending or solved, uh, is updated or created in Zendesk, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the user info via email. So we're gonna take the info from the ticket uh, requester, find that user info in Slack. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the comments from the ticket and we're gonna post the comments in Slack uh, to that particular user. And this is kind of what that looks like. We've picked the app Slack. What we wanna do is we wanna post a message and we wanna post it to this person. This is the information that we got from that get user by email. And then here's where we sort of configure and set up the message that you saw back here. So that's the demo here. If you've got any questions, you want to dig more into other uh, WorkBot demos, you want to kind of see a little bit more about how they're built, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my email is Christopher at Workado.com. My phone number is 415-299-2848. Um, have a great day. Take care.